Hey what's up everyone, it's Custom here and I'm back with a new video and in today's video I'll be starting a new Discord series called Discord Explained. For the first episode of this series I will explain the Discord Partner Program, one of the most exclusive and sought after features on the communication platform that we all know and love. I've been partnered for well over a year for my community server, as you can see here something for everyone, it's got the partner badge at the top. And I also know many other partners who are partnered for different categories and different things. Today's video will be split up into four different segments. What is the Discord Partner Program? The history of the program, the controversies of the program, and the perks of the program. Please let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see in this series, as I'm gonna be doing this once a week. I think I'm gonna do the next one on Heart Squad event, so let me know. But before we get into this, there's a couple of things I would like to mention. According to my YouTube statistics, only about 50% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. It'd mean a lot if you could potentially go and hit that subscribe button and make sure it turns grey. It means a lot to creators and it's free. It's something which you can do and it doesn't cost any money but it shows your appreciation and your support for us making these videos. I try to release four videos a week, especially in the current climate of the world because I try to bring entertainment to people and try and make some videos for people to watch over the course of the week. I'd also be very appreciative if you could leave some feedback on this video, try and make it as constructive as possible and also potentially go and like the video if you enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into this first segment. The Discord Partner Program is a community program on Discord which is aimed at helping the server owners, creators and organisations on the platform. It is one of the many community programs on the platform including server verification, Hype Squad, which is broken down into Heart Squad events and Heart Squad Online for the people that don't know. There are several ways in which you can be partnered on Discord including just through a normal community server, although rarer. The requirements outlined on the Discord website suggest that YouTubers reach 100,000 subscribers, 10,000 views, and upload two to three times a week. On the other hand, for streamers, if you have Twitch streamers, they must reach about 10,000 followers, 100 concurrent viewers, and also stream four times a week. On Mixer, it's also 10,000 followers, 50 concurrent viewers, and they must stream also four times a week. In regards to communities, they look for something slightly different. For Reddit communities, which is more like a forums based thing for the people that don't know, they must have over 8,000 subscribers on their Reddit page. For non-profit communities, they can also apply. And for the others, which are like the non-forum based communities, as you can see here, Discord partner for something for everyone, this is my server. They have no set requirements, but they look for the quote unquote, the coolest and most active communities and then they would also go and take a deeper look as they go. This is true to the time of recording, being mid-June 2020. Currently, the partner applications are closed, and this is because they're planning to do a bit of a revamp on what they do in regards to the program. So this may change later on in the year when they reopen stuff. This is as true as I can get it, being mid-June 2020, and it's as factually correct as possible. This may change in the future regarding the new upcoming requirements for the Discord Partner Program, potentially, and also the new application form, which I suppose they're gonna be releasing later on in the year. I'll cover that a bit more later on down the line. To be partners on Discord, you must be over 16 years of age. You must also follow the Partner Code of Conduct. I'll cover that again later. And you also have to follow the Discord Terms of Service alongside your server and the community guidelines. To attend the Discord partner parties, yes they do exist, a lot of people don't know this. You must be over 21 years of age because they tend to be hosted in the US and the drinking age in the US is obviously over 21. So that's um, basically in line with that. Overall, the partner program is a fairly exclusive program with only a few thousand out of the 250 plus million people on Discord. So it's very exclusive and it's very hard to get into. And it's something which a lot of people ask me all the time. So I decided to make this video to explain it a bit more for the people that don't know what the Discord Partner Program is. So anyways, that's a brief understanding of what the Partner Program is. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna to go to the next segment, which is the history of the Partner Program. So what is the history of the Discord Partner Program? Well, first things first, it was created in late 2015, about half a year or so after Discord was created itself. Since then, there's been many changes along the line. As you can see here, this also goes with the web page related to the Discord Partner Program. So I'm going to start regarding to the web page. So as you can see here, I'm on web.archive.org. This allows me to see some of the old versions of the Discord Partner website, and I'm on the earliest one which it captured. So this is from the 4th of January 2016. It sounds ages ago, it's over four years ago now. Um, a lot's happened in four years, as you can see. 
I mean, a lot even happens over the course of a year. But as you can see here, we've got Discord partners, join the Discord fam, get partner only tools to make you stand out, apply now. What's it all about? And it's got some of the features here. Again, these have changed since. There's a lot more features, different features, and some of it's changed. They've got some of our crew. They've got Landfest. That's a festival that I know of. Then you've got uh, stuff like Breezy, Brewtime. Um, you know, there's some kind of well-known people here. Nothing like it is today, but this is the old web page which you can see. Compared to the current web page, if I go over to here, Discord Partners, as you can see here, it goes join the Discord fam and get partner only tools to make you stand out. It's the same phrase which they've been using for the last four years, but I guess it caught on and it's kind of catchy. At the time of recording, applications are closed, as you can see. They have paused the applications because they're wanting to tidy things up, which I assume means they're going to change potentially requirements, change the application form, and maybe change the program a bit. They don't want people to fret because obviously they're planning on reopening it, but at the time of recording, it isn't open. For as long as I can remember, the partner program has been exclusive specifically for Discord to help growing communities, content creators that show enthusiasm for Discord, which in realistic terms meant that they were already using Discord as a platform. The Discord partner program, in the eyes of many, was something which was used by Discord to potentially get exposure for many people around the world and get them away from the realm of TeamSpeak and Skype. Some of the big players back in the day, TeamSpeak is kind of died off to my knowledge and Skype still kind of used quite a lot, especially by um, the older generation. But in a roundabout way, we don't know how much the program helped Discord achieve their current position. However, it must have made some form of an impact with some of the biggest creators in the world using the platform. Some of the creators that use it these days are PewDiePie, for example, for his channel members. You've got Mr. Beast. I've seen him on the platform on a certain server I'm on. And there's some other creators like Grady Andre, Trap Nation, Bass Boost. There's so many different creators which use it that have millions and millions of subscribers. Same thing, as you can see here, you've got charities that use it, St. Jude's. You've got other things. Look at all of these, as you can see on this webpage. There's tons. Even Philip DeFranco has used it before, which is insane. When submitting an application to the program, you'd often be greeted with an email like this. It goes, Discord Partner. Hey, custom name for example, my username. We've received your application and it's currently being delivered to our digital sorting facility by the fastest internet messenger cheaters around the world. So Discord used to be Derry Mimi back in the day. It's currently become more corporate in recent days um, and months, but we'll have to see how the partner program goes on from then onwards. But as a brief history, this is a bit of a look back onto the old partnership emails, as you can see. I don't know if they've changed since. I haven't actually submitted an application since 2018. But for the most part, this is what you used to see. Upon acceptance of the program, you would get an email like this. It goes, so about that Discord partner application, it gives you suspense until you actually open it. You go down and it goes, hi, our custom name. So it goes your username. My name is Springle. Thanks for opening that email. It was getting a bit cramped, Kappa. Back at Discord HQ, our ritual elves have finished looking over your application. Once finished, they all hum in unison and summon a fortune cookie containing a verdict. It contains a delicious kimper. Let's crack open the cookie and see what it says. So a lot of people often would get it on the cookie back in the day. I know some people used to have the text on the cookie. I got question mark, exclamation, question mark. Gave a bit more suspense because I even scrolled down the email and it still didn't see it there. But then it goes chosen one. On the fortune cookie, some people would get the text there. Uh, for the people that got rejected, as you can see on screen, it would say something else. It, I think it went something like, not today, or something like that. For example, here it goes, wow, you were chosen. It's time for the celebration because you're now an official Discord partner. So it's kind of awesome. It gives you the partner badges, and it also gives you a print faction code, which is going to be blurred to get a Discord partner hoodie. And I'll show you that later when it comes to the perks side of things. But that's an awesome acceptance email that we used to get. The program has also had its highlights, and it's probably got many more to come. There are many Discord partner parties, which usually happen after TwitchCon, including Wampus Island last year. All partners received an invite to this, just part of the awesome history of the program. And as remembered, you have to be 21 or over to go to one of these parties. So this is one of the invites I got. I'm going to blur part of it, because obviously uh, I don't want to show too much of it. But it gives you a bit of an FAQ. Um, it shows like your age requirement and also tells you if you need to bring tickets, etc, etc, and you're plus one. 
it's kind of cool. Um, they mainly did it for uh, people after TwitchCon. I think some Hype Squad people were allowed in as well, but this is mainly for partners and they get a VIP ticket. Not only has the website and program developed and grown over the years, but so has the Discord partner hoodie. There's been two main versions, the old one as you can see on screen right now, and the new one as shown by me. We've also been lucky enough to have a Discord partner long sleeve top as shown on screen, and other features including a Discord partner hat. I don't have this personally, but I know a couple of people that do and it's pretty cool. When people attend Discord partner parties or Discord um, events, the partners often get a partner badge as again seen on screen, or they get goodie bags. This also includes when people went to the Discord HQ and Discord partners used to be allowed to go into the Discord HQ. It may not be the case at the moment, but I believe it still is. Um, after everything's blown over, it probably continue. However, Discord partners used to be allowed into the HQ. They got shown around and they also get to meet some of the employees. But they also got given a goodies bag with a Discord bag with loads of merch in it and it's pretty cool. At events such as PAX and Gamescon, the community team would also organise a partner photo showing many of the partners around the world that attend conventions that Discord attend too. This was a nice highlight and a touch that the team did to make partners feel connected. The future of the programme is unknown, with applications being closed and the programme undergoing a revamp. It'd be very exciting to see what it holds in the future, but for now this is a brief history of the Discord partner programme and the things that go along with it. Some stuff that many of you didn't know before and some stuff which isn't overly publicised. For the record, I'm not going to show everything regarding to the partner programme because there's a lot of stuff which is obviously exclusive and stuff which I don't really want to share purely because it's only meant for the people that are in the programme to know of. But for the most part, I'm only talking about stuff which I believe I can make public and is public knowledge to an extent. I'm just putting it in one whole video. Anyways, I'm going to go over to the next segment, um, which is about the controversies. The controversies. With all great things, there are always controversies. One of these of the program was the Partner Code of Conduct. This aired in summer 2018 and has caused a lot of backlash from some particular partners, especially at the time. Mainly regarding the original version of the Code of Conduct, which had many grey areas which resulted in fear for some partners in case they could be departnered regarding not safe for work content. In my eyes, the Code of Conduct is fair play. As you're a figure in which Discord is in a sense approving or giving a nod to, you have responsibilities and you have to respect the brand to uphold their image. If they're putting faith in you, you've got to put faith in them and you've got to respect them equally. In a whole, the controversy regarding the code of conduct has faded away for the most part and it's become mainly normality. In a whole, the controversy regarding the code of conduct has faded away for the most part and it's become an almost normality for most of the partners. There's many things which are listed here, as you can see on the screen right now. Mainly, the bit which was worrying for most people was the not safe for work content. However, this has been fairly outlined now, and a lot of partners know what is expected of them and what is expected of their servers. As long as you stay within these guidelines, you should be safe as a partner for the most part. If you do step outside them, you do risk of getting a warning or even losing your partnership. So all partners seem to stick within them because they don't want to risk being departnered. When applications were last open, from what I recall, there was a chat box which allowed people to agree to the code of conduct before applying. This prevented any in-between lines in case people applied and were like, oh, I didn't know about that. So this was, for the most part, it did clear up a lot of air. Mainly, the partnership program and the code of conduct are adjoined. People understand them and people agree with them now, and it's something which is now passed and people don't really mention too often. Another controversy which I'm going to discuss is the controversy related to the verification system and the partner program. Now, verification has been around for a year, a year and a half or more now, from what I can recall. And as you can see here, there's verification badges on different servers. So if we go over to the web page, as you can see, what, qual what qualifies the server for verification? Now, I'll do a separate video for verification if you guys want it. However, when the verification was uprising on Discord, and it was becoming known. There are a lot of controversies regarding this. A lot of people thought the part in the program may be faded out purely because server verification was almost like a step up from that. However, a lot of this was debunked straight afterwards. Discord didn't remove the partner program. 
they're just two separate community programs. Server verification is mainly for esports communities or businesses and companies, whereas the partner program is more for specific server owners and creators and that sort of thing, more individuals. The verification system, when it did arrive, was something which made a lot of people think that Discord was becoming more formal. As it has recently, it's moved away from its meme self, it's moved away from its more fun self, but it allows it to access more people. It's not specifically for gamers anymore, and that is exactly the reason why I believe Discord did this. It's because it's starting to move away from that gamer image. Yes, it can be used for gamers, but at the same time, it only but at the same time, it only occupies a certain percentage of the market regarding communication. So if they can push out into the other markets, it does help them as a brand generally. So I believe that's why server verification came up alongside the partner program. The final controversy which comes to mind is the Masti partnering, which took place a year or so ago. Now, not much is known about this, and I don't know much about it myself. However, I did hear about it to an extent. I don't know how much of it is true, and as I wanted to say, a disclaimer, this is as factually correct as I know. There may be some stuff which isn't factually correct and I will correct that in my comment section so make sure to go check my pinned comment if there has been any changes since this video. However, all we know is that Discord, and rightfully so, does audit Discord partners. They make sure that they're staying within the rules, they make sure they're staying within the code of conduct, the guidelines and the terms of service. If they're going out it, they do have a right to remove you as a Discord partner. So. If people are inactive, don't follow the rules, they could be removed. And a lot of people assumed, and I assume as well, that potentially they did a mass audit where they removed a bunch of people that were inactive, weren't using the platform, or were potentially breaking rules. And that is my belief on that controversy. However, not much really came up about it. It's just something I did over here, and I did want to include. Overall, there's been no major scandals which I know of which have happened to the partner program. The partner program, for the most part, is looked well upon. It's something which a lot of people respect, Discord respect, and it's something which I enjoy being part of. It's something which is generally quite good and quite useful. So I do recommend if they do reopen applications and you meet the new requirements or the requirements which are there, that you do potentially apply because it is something which I recommend. However, I'm gonna go over to the final topic, which is the perks. Something which you guys are kind of keen to know because a lot of people ask me this. What are the perks that you get? So I'll go over to that section right now. Right guys, so the final topic of this video is about the partner perks. Now, I'm going to go through this systematically, I'm going to go through it through different things, and I'm going to be on this something for everyone sort of before this, for the most part. Now, there's obviously a couple of perks which are not on Discord itself, and I'll talk about that afterwards, and I did mention a couple of them through the video, but I'll mention them again. However, the first thing that I think we need to talk about is the Discord partner badge. Now, as you can see here on my profile, I've got the Discord partner badge. It's basically an infinite badge, it's blue. Um, if you click it, it takes you to the partner's website and it doesn't really do much apart from that. That's basically what it is. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically the partner, the partner badge. Aside from the profile badge, the server also gets its own little badge. So if you look here in the top corner, I've got the Discord partner badge over here. Now if I go down, again, it's shown here. And if I go to mutual servers, you can see that it's also here as well, Discord Partner. This allows people to know that it's an official partnered server and isn't something which has just been ripped off as a level three Nitro boosted server or anything like that. They know that it's a partnered server because it has the partner badge. It also shows up on the invite link as you can see here, Discord Partner. It also shows that it's a partnered server upon joining. It also shows it on the server discovery server search up, something for everyone, which is another perk I'll talk about later. It shows here with Discord Partner. The next partner perk which I want to discuss is the Discord Partner server. I can't click on it, it's very secret. I can't click on it and show you what's in there. But basically we do have a Discord Partner server. It's quite cool, um, you know, it's quite exclusive. There is a, there's a couple other servers like this, but you know, this is the official Discord Partner server with loads of Discord partners in it, Discord employees and that sort of thing. It's really cool, we get information about upcoming things and basically, yeah, it's, it's basically an awesome communication hub for us. So that's another perk that we do get. So another perk we get is a uh, free Nitro, something which a lot of people don't know. So I had a Nitro yearly plan beforehand, so my plan is still yearly. But if I go over to here, go to my user settings, if I go to if I go to subscriptions, it goes Discord Nitro US dollar sign zero dot zero zero a year. 
So that's kind of cool. Um, basically, I get Discord Nitro for free every year. Um, it's the regular one, which means I've got two boosts and everything like that. So it's kind of cool. It's awesome. Um, um, thank you to Discord for giving us free Nitro. Um, it's very kind of you. Um, and yeah, that's something which partners enjoy. We get Nitro for free. So uh, yeah. Another thing which I want to tell you about is that we get all of the level three and below server perks without having to have boosts. Now, my server does have boosts on it anyway. We've got 43 boosts. And if you haven't already, make sure to go boost something for everyone. However, something for everyone does get level three perks for free. We don't need boosts to get there. So we basically, so we basically get all of this without actually needing 30 boosts. So basically we just get it on the house, which is awesome, it, um, it's kind of cool. So as you can see here, go to server settings, you've got vanity URL, uh, 45,970 uses. That's kind of cool. But um, for the most part, yeah, it is kind of cool. The other thing that we do get as a partnered server is we get announcement channels. Now, as you can see here, we've got something over here, which is announcement channel. And if I wanted to go make a channel, I can go, oop, announcement. And if I wanted to go make a channel, as you can see here, I've got the announcement channel ability too. So if you go to the server settings and you go here to uh, announcements, you can see what people can see. So if I go to, for example, monthly giveaways, um, you can see your net change in the last 10 posts. You can see how many people are following it as well. I mean, how many servers. Um, I think our announcements channel is by, follows by about 40,000 people, which means 40,000 people on other servers can see it, which is kind of cool. But um, that's something else that we do get. So another thing that partner servers are, they're public servers um, and it basically allows us to do some other stuff. So if we go over to here, we've got a welcome screen. Partner servers get a welcome screen. Again, it's got the partner badge on it and it allows us to put five recommended channels up where they can be like, come chat with us, find out about us, stay up to date and like Nitro giveaways. So it's kind of cool um, and it gives you a little description too. So that's another reason to become partnered because you get some awesome features for when people join your server. As you go up, I've also got access to discovery. Now discovery is the thing which I'll show you in a minute. However, you get to enable it so I can disable or enable it. It shows the partner badge, shows a bit of description, shows whatever picture you want as the cover image, gives you a bit of a description, gives you general chatting, then it gives you like subcategories and other like keywords, and then you get a primary language as well. So that's pretty cool. And if you go down to here, you've got into the explore the public service, you've got different categories and obviously it will show up under different things. And as you can see here, I searched up something for everyone and it shows you some of the emotes um, and then you can click on it and join it. And you can view it as well, I believe, if you're not on the server already. So that's kind of cool. That's another thing which um, partner servers do get. So there's a lot of other stuff which goes on. If you go to the events, you can even get a Discord partner badge. Um, and there's just so much more which Discord partners can get. So it's kind of cool. We get access to giveaways near Christmas time sometimes, which is also a nice touch from the community team. But apart from that, there's a lot of features that the Discord partners do get. Um, they're always looking to potentially get more features onto the server. Um, but for the most part, we do have some awesome features as a whole. Um, I believe that is all of the features apart from, I know, like the majority are covered under the level three perks. And for the people that don't know, just go back and pause the video when I showed you that a minute ago. But for the most part, that's all of the perks which I kind of get with the Discord partner and the server gets. It's definitely recommended. It's something which is awesome. And I hope that Discord partner has now been explained for you guys. So um, if you did enjoy this video and want me to do more of these, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. Um, it'd be awesome if you could also go and hit that like button and potentially comment some feedback. I've got two Discord servers, I've got something for everyone, link is on screen on the left, and I've got Customs Magical World, link is on screen on the right. So make sure to go join both of them, one's on my YouTube channel and the other is my community server. Anyways guys, that marks the end of today's Discord Explained. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you're more knowledgeable about the topic of Discord Partner now, and anyways guys, have an awesome, awesome day. And yeah, peace out.